This is snake fishing right here. Hey, son. <laughs> And that's without a hook. But, uh, in survival, it's worth that, guys. If you can try to fish in for a snake, you're winning the game. The technique that I'm using out here is two point. A little bit of visual, a little bit of sound. And what that means is that I'm trying to imitate kind of a thick fish being up on the surface, showing a little bit of belly here and there. And I'll start popping the water here and there. So there you go. Works out pretty well. As you can notice, they're not really shy. So once they see that fish, once you show them that uh, it's pretty much something they can't resist, they will go after it with uh, kind of a single mindedness. Make a meal. See if I can't bring it up. <laughs> he really wants it. <laughs> Gonna move the fish around a little bit, kind of tease him. These snakes aren't very shy, but their teeth are sharp. A bad size snake. There's two ways you can go about this. If you really need a snake to eat, you can allow the snake to swallow the fish, and in doing so, you can bring it back in. Or, you can actually put a hook on the outside of the fish, and you can hook the snake that way. Oh, strong. Okay, so, here we go. It's a monster day. <laughs> That's without a hook, guys. If you're surviving, you'd want to put a hook on there. So this is your disclaimer, and there are a few folks out there that need to hear this. Uh, there's no real practical application for what I'm doing out here. Fishing for snakes, using this pole, and the fish. Now, there's a lot of reasons not to be out here. I'm showing you this is a demonstration for survival purposes only. So if you find yourself in a situation, then uh, this might be something that you want to be able to attempt. Uh, otherwise, there's a lot of reasons not to do this. First and foremost, legal. Most states, you're probably going to be breaking the law. Molesting the creatures would be uh, pretty much the issue. Uh, secondly, when you're messing around with snakes, especially in the water, uh, pulling them in, there's a really good possibility that what you're attracting are venomous snakes. So water moccasins, caught at mouth, things like that. And in doing so, you're going to be pulling in uh, something that's inherently risky. And so you really, really need to uh, use best judgment. And, uh, well, my own advice is stay away from it. Don't do it. So, guys, make sure you're being legal. Use best judgment. Ask your game wardens if you have any questions about it. And above all else, be safe. Come 
on up. Oh. <laughs> Gotcha. Snake on a stick. if this one will come up too. So this is Survival Economics 101, and a lot of survival comes down to budgeting. Uh, your time, your energy, a lot of that just comes right down to calorie count, and it equates to calories. So uh, whatever you do, whatever your daily tasks are, in this instance we're trying to gain calories, we're trying to acquire food, uh, you need to make sure that you're bringing in more than you're burning in the effort. Now, being able to fashion a pole for fishing, you do have a setting like this, making a line, making a hook, not to mention going and digging up a worm or chasing down a grasshopper for bait. That all takes effort. That all takes time. And you want to make sure the payoff is there. Now, a lot of folks might actually just go and eat that worm and eat the grasshoppers and get the gain right there. That's a few calories. And, uh, I mean, it's effective. But we as humans, most of us, would go in for the investment. We'd tie that piece of bait on to a hook, we'd throw it out in the water in the attempts of uh, pretty much reaping a ward. A larger fish, a tastier fish, more calories, and that's the idea. You want to invest that little bit in order to get more. Now I'm taking this to the next level right here. Now, I've already caught the worm, I've already used the worm to catch a fish, I've tied the fish onto a line, and now I'm using it to attract snakes and so uh, if I can catch snakes at least in this situation I've got lots of them around if I can catch a snake and keep the fish I'm winning the game and that's the idea more calories less effort that's how you survive well guys hopefully I've been able to show you something just a little bit different something new but if you like this kind of thing unconventional survival tips and hacks go ahead and subscribe to the channel like comment click the notifications button and as always until next time. Last note, and this needs to be understood. None of the snakes in this video were actually harmed. Scared a bit, for sure, but not harmed. There's no hook in this fish. And here in a little while, when it's untied, one of the lucky ones is going to get a free meal. So uh, take care of nature, guys. Understand, again, just a demonstration. Snake fishing. <laughs> One of these times is going to flip into your lap. <laughs>